are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. All right, guys, we have done many videos here on this channel about these quote unquote transgender women, biological men going over and competing against women. Now, when it comes to physical sports, there's no doubt about it. If you put a biological man in the boxing ring or in the octagon against a woman, it can end very, very badly. Now, Rhodes and I have done videos in the past on these biological men getting in the octagon and knocking out women. Now, also, guys, it's gotten so out of hand with these men coming over and competing against women that some governing bodies now have stepped in and said, no, we're going to put a stop to this because this is very, very unfair to real biological women. And it is. So I'm glad that Athena stepped up and said no to Leah Thomas. You cannot compete in the Olympics. We're going to put an end to this. Now, guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about MMA. Because as you guys may remember, an MMA fighter named Fallon Fox, who is a biological man, also a Navy veteran, got into the ring. Not the ring, actually, but the octagon and fractured the skull of a biological woman and enjoyed every minute of it. The BBC decided they would actually interview Fallon Fox. And now, folks, they actually have to apologize for this. Check this out on Breitbart. BBC apologizes for interviewing trans fighter who love hurting women. Now, Fallon Fox actually documented that they love to hurt women. Wow. Let's read this, guys. The BBC has apologized for interviewing a trans individual who previously wrote about how she, quote, love beating up women critical of transgenderism. Britain stayed on broadcaster to BBC has apologized for the decision to interview a trans MMA fighter who previously posted online how she loved beating up women critical of transgenderism, sometimes labeled as trans exclusionary radical uh, feminist terse by progressive opponents. The apology comes shortly after Leach showed the militant institutional support for transgenderism within the British broadcaster with it even altering a rape victim statement so as to not misgender an alleged rapist. This is the kind of crazy times we're living in, folks. Insane. According to a report by The Telegraph, Fallon Fox, who was interviewed after one sports body decided to exclude transgender individuals from women's sports, said she had, quote, knocked out two or not two out. And that one of the women uh, they harm had their skull fractured as a result of their fight with the transgender individual. And that was actually Tamika Brents. I actually talked about that in a, um, a previous video. Uh, quote, for the record, I'm not two out. One woman's skull was fractured. The other not. Fallon, Fallon is reported to have previously said. Quote, and just so you know, I enjoyed it. See, I love smacking up terse in the cage who talk transphobic nonsense. It's bliss. The publication goes on to report her as saying. And this is what um, Tamika Brintz actually had to say after getting a skull fracture by um, Fallon Fox. She said this quote, I fought a lot of women. And I, I have never felt the strength that I felt in a fight as I did that night. I can't answer whether it's because she was born a man or not because I'm not a doctor. I can only say I've never felt so overpowered ever in my life. And I am an abnormally strong female in my own right. Her grip was different. I could usually move around in the clinch against other females, but 
couldn't move at all in Fox's clinch. That is what Tamika Brents actually had to say. It's because you're fighting a biological man. Different bone structure, definitely more muscular. Spent a whole lifetime as a man. That is why. And Fallon Fox loves every minute of this. It says here the interview prompted a complaint. Was made to the broadcaster from women's sports campaign body Fair Play for Women, which the organization not finding the BBC's excuse that they were not aware of the fighters comments as believable. Quote, if you knew that Fallon Fox was a trans fighter, you'd also know what Fallon Fox had said. Uh, the Telegraph reports organization director, Dr. Nicola Williams, as saying, quote, it's either that the woke producers didn't do the basics with research or they didn't care. She continued. This apology means nothing unless they also issue an on air clarification. They must do due diligence on this topic by bringing on true experts, not just trans people. For the sake of it. They absolutely right about this. This latest controversy follows an incident where the BBC outright changed a statement made by a victim of rape so that it no longer alleged misgenderly allegedly misgendered a person who was accused of being a rapist. This is insane, guys. This is insane. This person was given a platform after bragging about they love hurting biological women and the woke BBC thought it was actually, actually a good idea. This is insane. Fallon Fox is despicable and anybody that approves of this is despicable. But, you know, woke activists, the woke media, this is what they want. I believe they truly want to destroy women's sports. And when a woman gets killed in the octagon or the ring, What are they going to say then? Wow. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.